Hi, my name is Manny Granillo. I'm from Hoplai Research um, Games, and we're here at the 2014 uh, Game Developers Conference. So we're going to talk about Broadsword. For those people who haven't played this game, walk us through the story. Broadsword actually is a really uh, challenging and fun uh, game where you uh, are run a, a kingdom and you try to uh, uh, crush your opponent. <laughs> you build resources, you build uh, uh, castles and units and research uh, with tech trees and you know beautiful uh, environments. Uh, we go from the map, full 3D, to uh, the combat scenes are also full 3D. You get the visceral action right in your face thanks to uh, Tegra technology. Now, will there be any kind of uh, multiplayer experience for gamers? Oh, absolutely. Uh, not only can you play multiplayer head-to-head -head, uh, on the same device brought to you by the Shield, or you can actually play uh, online head-to-head -head with your friends around the world, around the country. How have you been working with NVIDIA to bring this game to mobile? Well, NVIDIA uh, and, and their fantastic uh, games design development team and engineers uh, really have made this a real pleasure to work on, on their system and to bring our vision to their technology for our customers. The, their, their tools and a lot of their assistance in engineering have been very helpful uh, in getting us to where we are right now and giving the experience to our customers they really want. What has Tegra 4 opened up for you guys as game developers? Well, Tegra 4 uh, was a, a quantum leap as far as we're concerned because it allowed us to focus on the game design and less on how do we make this special effect that automatically, because of the power of the Tegra 4 and then the later K1, allows us that ability automatically with shadows, lighting, transparencies, smoke, just a, a, a myriad of effects. How are you guys utilizing the NVIDIA Shield controller? Well, one of the things about the great thing about the shield itself is that it it, it mimics your hand and your positioning, and we've uh, we've actually uh, lined up all the controls on the shield so that you can actually uh, play the game almost uh, intuitively without having to uh, think, overthink anything. It just becomes natural, like the typewriter. When it comes to the mobile space, it's advancing very quickly. What are your thoughts on what Tegra K1 technology will open up for you as a game developer? Well, again, the focus really for game developers, game designers, and, and people who really want to bring the experience to the gamer, they should be focusing on, on, on the experience, the design, and the delivery to the customer, and less on how do we make the special effect happen. With the K1, which is a yet step beyond the Tech 4, Tech 4, it, it, it allows us that much more power, that much more ability that the engineering and the teams have so much available code and things that can help us just focus on the game design and really bring out the visuals automatically.